there is a new threat facing farmers in Uganda. Fall armyworm is an invasive pest affecting crops across Uganda. Farmers are being hit hard as maize and other plants are being attacked by these hungry caterpillars. But not all damage leads to significant yield losses, especially if you take action to protect your crops. Akasani kano twafuna okulumbibwa akawuka ka kasani aka akawumula umula kasoli nga kamuteeka mu ebitundi tuli nga gobaita namujinga kati kata andikiriza mpola mpola buli season kagenda nka kongera mu amanyi naye omwako guwedde twafuna yo chance ne batu wereza yo kudagala Elio kujia njaba ko ogeze satu, elio ogeze, elio kulaba anti tulu wanyisa haka uka hako. Edaga leyo, diyali di, di, di striker, jetuwa ata anikisa hako koze sako. This film will explain the steps you need to take to prevent, monitor and control an outbreak of fall army worm, so you can save your farm's yield. The message in this film has been endorsed by the Ministry of Agriculture. Let's hear firsthand from an expert. Of recent, we have had an experience of an outbreak of one of the very devastating pests called the four armyworm. And as a national task force, we have gone further now to develop a national strategy and action plan for the control of the foro amewam. The best way of avoiding fall armyworm is to prevent it from infesting your farm in the first place. Here are some tips to prevent them from showing up. Plant your maize at the onset of the rains, all at the same time. Avoid planting your crops late. Regularly weed your farm, as fall armyworm is attracted to certain weeds and can live on others. Add fertilizer to your maize because healthy plants will be better able to withstand armyworm damage and stand up to the treatments to eradicate the pest. Remember, fall armyworm does not come from seeds. Traditionally, maize has been a crop that has not required a great deal of monitoring for pests and diseases. Fall armyworm changes this. You need to monitor your maize every three days because fall armyworm is spread by moths that fly from farm to farm laying eggs and can appear suddenly. And if you find fall armyworm, then acting quickly can make a real difference. Start looking out for signs of fall armyworm eggs caterpillars or leaf damage a week after germination when the leaves begin to show through the soil. Fall armyworm eggs appear as creamy grey thumbnail-sized circles, usually on the underside of maize leaves. But it is important to check both sides of the leaf. The eggs are usually covered with a felt-like layer of grey or pink scales. Mature caterpillars have a distinctive upside-down Y on their heads and have a pattern of four raised dots in a square shape on the second to last segment of their body. They look different from African armyworms and the measures you need to take to control them are also different. When caterpillars are grown, they turn into moths which fly to new farms and the cycle continues. Look for small light-colored patches on the maize leaves as well as large ragged and elongated holes or windows in the emerging inner growing leaves. You also need to look at tassels and see if they are damaged. If they are, check the cob for signs of armyworm. Check inside the inner growing leaves for the light green to dark brown caterpillars with three thin yellowish white stripes down the back and four dots which are in a square on the second to last segment from the tail. 
In older caterpillars, a distinct upside-down Y is visible on the head. Also look out for leaves or cobs with some yellowish-brown material on them that looks like wet sawdust. This comes from the caterpillars. You can monitor your maze by walking through it in a zigzag pattern and checking plants for signs and symptoms of the fall armyworm. For each acre, check 50 maize plants for fall armyworm signs and note down how many are affected. If 10 plants or less are infected with the fall armyworm, then you should try handpicking and crushing the caterpillars and eggs. This is a cheap, safe and effective measure of control for small areas. Remember, maize can recover from early leaf damage. If more than 10 plants of the 50 are infected with the fall armyworm, then you should try other control measures we are going to talk about now. When using control measures to manage the fall armyworm, caterpillar or any pest, it is important to use them safely to protect your health. Make sure you use proper safety clothing while spraying chemicals, such as goggles, gloves and a mask, because chemical pesticides are poisonous and need to be handled carefully and instructions followed. There are a number of control approaches you can take, which include pesticides, naturally based pesticides such as neem, or using ash and sand poured into the wall. Talk to your extension officer for advice on the best approach to use on your farm. If you are using pesticides, there are two recommended pesticides for managing fall armyworm which you can use. Tyametoxam 141 grams per liter plus lambda cyalotrin 106 grams per liter. You'll find these in your agro dealer's shop named Striker and NGO. Profenophos 40% plus cypermethrin 4%. You'll find these with your agro dealer named Rocket, Super Profenophos, Profecron, Agrocypro, Hitzel, Dudufenos, etc. Both should be applied at a dose of 20 milliliters to 20 liters of water in a knapsack sprayer if small caterpillars are found, and at a dose of 50 milliliters to 20 liters of water if larger caterpillars are found. Spray between 6 to 9 a.m. or from 4 to 7 p.m. when the worm is active. Spray the whole plant, including into the funnel, where mature caterpillars are found. Spray once. Monitor after seven days and respray using the same chemical if live caterpillars are found in 10 out of 50 randomly selected maize plants. Buy pesticides only from certified agro dealers. Never combine a cocktail of pesticides in the sprayer. Don't spray when the cob is drying because residue on the plant is harmful when eaten. Remember, plant early. Look for eggs and caterpillars. Handpick and crush any you find. If there are too many to handpick, spray carefully or apply a biological control. With the right action, even maize that has been infected can provide you with a good yield. Unchecked, the whole harvest can be lost. Your crop is relying on your vigilance and targeted action. Just remember to practice the steps discussed here to prevent, monitor and control the fall armyworm. Happy farming!